The Gansfield effect happens when your brain is starved of visual stimulation and fills in the blanks of its own. This changes your perception and causes unusual visual and auditory patterns. It can even lead to hallucinations. Psychologist Wolfgang Metzger introduced this concept of Gansfield effect in 1930. With no incoming signals, your perception of brightness slowly decreases. This is called the fade out. As retinal cells become more active, you may start to see blood vessels in your eyes. In a few minutes, things may turn gray. When you, see, you might see zigzag lines, dots, a blob of color, the full effect usually comes in within five to seven minutes. Longer exposure may produce stranger results. Your brain is frantically seeking outside stimuli, finding none. The higher visual cortex starts amplifying available information, generating visual and auditory hallucinations. My mind, mine's just like, it feels like waves are going around. You know, when you squish your eye for too long. Mm -hmm. That's what's happening now. Are you changing the light? No. Oh. Uh, why does it look like it's happening? Yeah, it looks like you're changing the light. No. You know what it looks like when something's going down the drain, how it like goes around in a circle like that? Kind of looks like it's not going, getting any smaller, but it's just going around in circles like this. It's not too crazy. Um, the craziest it got, it was like, if you like lay down for too long and you kind of just like, I don't know, press against your eyes and then there's like that wave that you get um, of not color, but like sprinkles. I don't know how to describe it, but that's kind of what's going on for me, but not really actual like blobs or shapes that are moving around me. It looks like there's a shadow moving around, like a dot floating around, but I know there's nothing. That's super weird. I don't think it's gonna work for me. No? No. I'm you're, done. You're, you're quit? I quit. Yeah. Oh. You know how when you feel, when you get angry and things turn red, but it's not red. Mm -hmm. You just like desensitize. Yeah. That's just it. That's all it was. Mm -hmm. But I didn't see things move. There's like one part where like it felt like you're changing the light, yeah. lighting or whatever. That's it though. That's as crazy as it got. Yeah, but by far the most intense thing that happened, it looked like it was like all white and then it looked like this beam like was like falling straight at my face, like whoosh, and then stopped like right there. And it was like just super intense, like nothing and then poof and then black, like this black line, like right here. And I like kind of jumped back. It was I didn't get it on camera. That was a super, like, powerful and very odd effect. Uh, so if you think of trying this yourself, give it a shot. Uh, cut some ping pong balls, shine it in your face, and see what happens. Uh, thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys next week.